What is up people? I'm playing Team Fortress 2 uh, on the one of the Halloween special maps and I'm wielding the demo man's lach and load uh, two shot grenade launcher that always crits I also have this katana equipped um, which is called um, the half zatoichi something which is nice um, also wearing the proof purchase hat I also got the um, monarch or whatever the boss here is uh, hat that's just an eye basically uh, that's really cool the yeah, eye moves in its socket and it looks cool from the back and you'll see him he's the boss here as well you get to take him down it's a lot of fun basically it's like you have to choose uh, whether to shoot the boss or or your enemies oh and I got a really lucky crit kill here like three kills uh, that was just amazing um, feels really good that's why I love the lock and load because um, when you get those kills it's gonna be special uh, you gotta be really accurate though and have to lead on for the targets um, oh yeah and here you see the boss the monocro mono monoculus yeah uh, he basically shoots other eyeballs that are like rockets and uh, I think they one shot you if you are a scout at least a uh, really fun map I have to say uh, tried the other ones uh, I know one of the other ones called Harvest, I think, and uh, this is Biaduk. I don't know what this is called actually, but but the Harvest one is also very cool. Uh, rather small maps, but just you know they concentrate the action. Yeah, got a nice revenge kill there. Um, they concentrate the action uh, on one command point, and I think I really think this is uh, this is great. Nice, took down that sentry gun position there um, on the upper balcony type type of thing there. Um, we're actually doing quite well here, uh, not really controlling the con uh, command point here all that much, but um, yeah, I was just out for the kills right now, wanted to get some frags, because uh, shooting people with this lock and load is really much a lot of fun. I got the Halloween, if you haven't logged in during Halloween yet, do it, because you get the Halloween bag of goodies or stuff, which has random loot in it. I got the Pyro's um, Tales of the Crypt, but some player like really, really wanted it, so I traded it for uh, for for some really stupid lame rocket launcher and a I don't know what else I took, but anyway, I just he really wanted it and he liked to play Pyro as well, and I didn't really care. It's just a cosmetic change anyway, and you can only wield it or actually use it uh, on Halloween, uh, which which is very limiting and. Um, it's like a one-off thing. I didn't really want it, and besides, it made him happy. So, so we traded for it. Um, it was a good idea, I think. Um, I've also started playing Scout a lot because um, Scout is very useful, even uh, on on maps where you don't really want to capture the command points, like uh, like here. But it just it just works, and um, it's really good. Taking the teleporter here to get a better overview. I, I don't really like the uh, um, sticky nades thing much because it it, um, it constitutes a certain gameplay mechanic that you you gotta camp or or just you know place the mines. It takes so much time to place those mines. I wish uh, I wish there was a uh, like a, a nade launcher that when you press the button it automatically deploys a certain number of nades around your character and then you can move away and they'll be there. Uh, that would be cool. But shooting them out like one by one is very slow and um, usually I'm not alive for long enough to see them explode anyway so uh, another, th another cool thing would be that they exploded or detonated as you died or something right now they just disappear that's kinda lame as well so completely useless um, for me I mean there are very good tactics and, and players who who know how to utilize those nades um, I, I've done so <laughs> sometimes myself when there are like uh, choke points or, or a position I wanna um, vacate from enemies basically but other than that they are kind of uh, like a trap item you have to get people around them and then detonate them obviously which is something that takes skill as well every time I make a TF2 video it feels like I haven't played for six years but I'm, I'm kind of starting to get the hang of it uh, I checked out the store a little bit more mm, there was some interesting stuff there but um, I've got like two chests for the Manco bags of 
chips, goodies or something like that. And uh, the key for those chests, uh, one key costs like two euros or something. And that's like, I don't know, um, I don't want those digital items that badly that I would pay two euros, euros from them. If it was like uh, below one euro, then I might buy it, but I, I, don't, I don't know, I maybe wouldn't even buy it then. It kind of feels useless. Uh, I'm not that guy, you know, I don't buy World of Warcraft, Vanity Pets, or, or Bing Mounts, or whatever stuff like that for real money. Uh, anyway, I see very good potential there, you know, people do want to buy those things, and uh, yeah. Valve now allows people to create their own items, or submit ideas at least, so that's also very fine and dandy. Yeah, that's about it for this gameplay, Halloween. If you haven't checked out Halloween content from Team Fortress 2, or if you haven't been playing for a long time, I think it's really a good time to put up the old lasts and give it a go because uh, the Halloween content is really fun, really cool. There are some nice game mechanics added like the pumpkins and uh, this netherworld here where you, you get to spawn sometimes or when you go through a vortex. Uh, so yeah, definitely check out Team Fortress 2. It's free to play, you know, you have no excuse if you're lonely at home during Halloween and um, you're not going out trick-or-treating, right? Thanks for watching.